All right. Uh, welcome to part two, where we'll do a simulation of our design. Now, let's do a quick recall. In the last video, we basically set up a system where we wanted the when the switch went up our LEDs should be off when the switch going down the LEDs should be on to do that we created a black box system like this and well in this case a purple box uh, by writing a very simple Verilog module we verified that the schematic looks right but whenever we write RTL and this is a very simple design but we should get in the habit of testing it by running a simulation so that's the goal uh, for today's uh, this particular video is to figure out how to use the Vivaro to do a quick simulation of our design okay so that's what we'll do uh, here so let's open up our design again so here we are uh, under design sources okay we've created the design source now what we want to do is we want to create something else simulation source imagine how you would test this if you were in a lab setting with an uh, NAT gate IC you would have some kind of input stimulus from a uh, somewhere and then you would basically observe the output either in an LED or an oscilloscope or using a multimeter to see what was happening right so here we'll set up a source by clicking on add source add or create simulation sources so let's say next and in order to make sure that you remember next time what this file is about let's give it a name called test underscore my SW LED so we're gonna test this and say okay let's finish this and it will say what are the input and the output ports we don't need any input and output ports on our test bench so we'll just say cancel say yes and this is going to add a simulation source so it has just added an additional file in here you can see that two files are there uh, and let's go to the simulation source and test my SW LED let's open that up okay now here the module name should be all right so module test underscore my SW LED okay well this module has no input and no output so we'll do end module okay let's add that first all right well syntax error so let's see what going on here oh forgot to put a semicolon so save all right good now what we want to do is we want to hold the value of the input fixed until we change it so in Verilog we'll use a variable called reg anytime we want to hold an input to a fixed value until we explicitly ask that it be changed so that is defined as a reg so in our case we'll declare the switch as a reg right we want our output to change as soon as something exciting happens inside this black box so we don't want the output to hold its value forever we want it to change as soon as some internal change uh, asks it to change so we declare such a variable as a wire right so wire and reg that's so all inputs should be declared as regs all outputs should be declared as wires so LED okay so let's set up our uh, in so setting up an initial stimulus let's call it initial begin and every begin should have an end so that's the uh, syntax of this so what we'll do is the following we'll say when switch is equal to low well, we're not going to set up what the output is. We'll basically observe what the output looks like. So we'll set up the switch to be equal to low. And we'll ask it to stay low for 100 nanoseconds. So let's say 100 nanoseconds. In order to do that, we need to add the time scale to our code. So let's copy and paste that and basically make sure. All right. So what this time scale is saying, that when I say 100 here with a pound, so this is a way of declaring time so with a pound and a 100 basically means that 100 nanoseconds okay because the time scale is one nanosecond if i change the time scale to 10 nanosecond 100 here would imply 1000 nanosecond okay so we'll leave it at one nanosecond for now so this is saying set the switch to zero and leave it at zero for 100 nanoseconds set switch zero and leave it at zero for 100 nanoseconds now let's switch switch to one after 100 nanoseconds change so let's add a comment change switch 
to 1 for another 100 nanosecond. So this will leave the switch 1. Well, just to see if it will change, let's go back to 0 and set it to 100 nanosecond additionally. Okay. And all right, I think this should be enough to figure out uh, if the LED will come on or off. So this is a Verilog test bench. Okay, the module has no inputs and outputs because we're just basically testing it. It doesn't have any input or output of its own, right? Uh, we've declared the reg for input and output. We've declared the symbol. What we haven't done is so imagine this. This is what we've done. We put down on the breadboard an input and an output, and we've decided how we are going to basically if if you're doing this on a breadboard with real circuit let's say we've decided how we're going to change the input and output what we haven't put down on the breadboard yet is the actual ic so in our case that uh, actual ic would be called my sw led because that's what we declared here module my sw led and then we'll give it the input and output in the exact order it is appears in this Verilog description of the code. So here, my SWLED, the first is an input, so switch, and the next is an output called LED. So let's leave it like that, and we'll call this circuit under test, CUT. All right. All right, now we basically set the board as well, and as soon as that happened, take a look at what happened here, the test, inherited that particular file. See this? Uh, the My SW LED actually went under the test, so it recognizes the hierarchy of the code. So let's run the simulation. Let's run the behavioral simulation for this particular thing. So if we do that by clicking a run simulation, and it'll give you options. Click on behavioral simulation. This will run the simulation for this particular design. All right, here is the simulation. All right, so here's waveforms. How do you read this? Uh, Let's first make sure that everything is visible. So let's right click and say full view. All right, here you go. The switch was low for 100 nanoseconds. That's what we set up here. So we said switch should be low for 100 nanosecond, then it should be high for 100 nanosecond, and then low for 100 nanosecond, and we didn't do anything, so the switch is gonna stay low forever, right? So here, let's go and zoom in, okay? Up to 300 nanoseconds. So switch is low from 0 nanoseconds to 100 nanoseconds and then it's high from 100 to 200 nanoseconds that's high and then switch is low after that for another 100 nanosecond and further because we didn't change the value of the switch and look at the value of the led is exactly opposite when the switch is low the led is high when the switch is high the led is low when the switch is low the led is high so if we now have a high degree of confidence that our design is going to work. So the next thing we'll do is basically, so we've now created a switch Verilog, we've tested it, we've looked at the schematic, we had some confidence it was going to work, but in a large design, looking at the schematic does not give you full confidence, so you want to simulate a design like this. So we've simulated a design, and this is giving us full confidence that this design is going to work as far as the behavior of the design is concerned. Okay. Next step will be on how do you prepare now this Verilog to be downloaded into our board. Okay. So that's what we'll do in our next video.